Spurgeon here with Revzilla, and in this video, we're gonna break down the best dual sport adventure gear for 2019. Now, this is personally my favorite segment of riding, and whether you're using your adventure bike as a long distance touring machine, or you're really trying to figure out how to tackle that A-level option at your favorite dual sport ride, there's a massive amount of dual sport and adventure gear out there to help you split the difference between style, protection, and functionality. So what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna break it down into two distinct collections, the fire road adventurer and the off-road adventurer. Because there is so much gear out there, sometimes it can seem overwhelming. So really the goal of this video is to to help clarify the best gear for your specific style of riding. We're gonna kick things off by taking a look at the Fire Road Adventurer. Now the Fire Road Adventurer today is gonna to be on the Africa Twin, and really if you're this rider, you love to take your adventure bike down long distances on the highway. So while most of the gear you're looking at is gonna be focused on road, you still wanna have that level of protection and functionality if you wanna branch off down a fire road and begin your off-road exploration. So we're gonna kick things off today by taking a look at the Scorpion EXO AT950. And this is a helmet that I've recommended numerous times in the past because of the maximum amount of functionality you're gonna get out of this. It's really three helmets in one. It's a modular helmet, it's an adventure helmet, and it's a sport touring helmet because you can remove the peak if you wanna go with that sport touring aspect. You are gonna have the modularity with this. But the reason that I really picked this for the Fire Road Adventure is that as you begin to you know, want to explore off-road, it's completely compatible with goggles. You do have the peak on the top, and even though this is a polycarb shell, it is relatively lightweight, and that's gonna be something that's important as you're spending long days in the saddle off-road. You don't want a helmet that's going to really kind of just beat you up from a weight aspect, and it's sub 300 bucks. So you get a lot of helmet baked in to a real great price as well. So for those of you out there looking at starting your off-road adventure, this Scorpion EXO AT950 is perfect for those fire road treks. Now moving right along to the jacket, this is gonna be the Alpine Stars Andes Pro Dry Star with Tech Air Street compatibility. And really what we're gonna see from Alpine Stars is they're pushing harder into the adventure world. And when you're out there doing those long haul tours, you need a jacket that's gonna protect you from whatever mother nature might throw at you. So you've got the thermal liner that you can pull out. You've got the baked in waterproof. And what I really like is that you've got these massive vent panels on your chest that bypass that waterproof membrane and allow airflow through. Because as you begin to push off road, you really do work up a sweat more than on road. The other thing you note is that you do have the Tech Air compatibility. Alpine Stars is leading the way when it comes to their Tech Air technology. So you do have that option if you want to add in the airbag. The one thing I will say is if you begin to really push it off road where you might be dropping your bike on a more regular basis, I would just leave the airbag system out. But if you're just blowing down a fire road at 45 miles an hour, that airbag is still going to save your butt. So for 2019, Alpine Stars Andes Pro Dry Star is the jacket you should be considering. Now let's move right along to our last pick for the day, which is going to be the boots. And these are going to be the CD Adventure 2 Gore-Tex boots, because really as you begin to fall down, you need a pair of boots that's gonna keep you protected. But if you're doing that long haul touring, you need a pair of boots that's gonna be comfortable enough to wear all day, and the CD Adventure 2 Gore-Tex really splits the difference. What you're gonna see is some of the dirt boot protection baked into the shin, you've got the hinge system, and you've got a very rigid sole. And that's gonna help you out when you're standing on the pegs for long extended periods of time, but you're also gonna have the comfort of the street side baked in. You've got Gore-Tex, you've got a boot that does have those hinge systems so you can move more freely and more comfortable, so you get the best of both worlds. So the CD Adventure 2 Gore-Tex boots are going to wrap up our picks for the 2019 Fire Road Adventure Tour. Really, the focus on all of the gear that you're gonna see here in this video is gonna help you split the difference between your long haul touring desires as well as your real dreams of tackling some of those dirt roads that you might find along the way and everything you've seen here will allow you to do just that. So our next rider is the off-road adventurer on the KTM 250 EXCF. And regardless of whether you're on a small dual sport, you know, or a large adventure bike, it really doesn't matter because your focus is the same. You wanna see how far you can get down any aggressive trail that presents itself. And really what you need is you need gear that's gonna ultimately keep you safe in the event of that regular crashing that we all know happens when you're pushing yourself off-road. So we're gonna kick things off today with a look at the Climb 
F5 Choroid helmet. Now, this is our top pick for 2019 because of the innovative technology that Climb has brought to the table. The Choroid technology integrated from the bicycling world, and it just gives you massive amount of ventilation. You just have so much functionality in here, and the fact that it's a full carbon design means that it's lightweight, and as opposed to the regular F5, this is actually DOT ECE rated, so you can use this on road or off. So for those of you out there looking for a dual sport helmet for 2019, the Climb F5 Choroid is our top pick for the year. Now moving right along to the jacket, this is gonna be the Liat GPX 5.5 Enduro jacket. No armor is included with this, it's really just an abrasion resistant shell that you can wear over your existing body armor. And really the functionality you're getting here, it's a, it's a bit weather resistant, so it's not gonna be waterproof, but in a light shower, it will help to keep you dry. And if you are riding down the road to get to your favorite trail, the abrasion resistant over top of your regular body armor will keep you safe. There's a lot of stretch baked in, so it's not gonna force against you. You can really move openly with it, and it integrates perfectly with the neck brace if you so choose. Now, I've used Liat for my armor choice for probably about two years now. The knee brace have kept me safe, their body armor has kept me safe, and with this jacket, it really just adds in that extra level of protection if you are splitting the difference between street as well as off-road. So our final pick for 2019 is going to be moving right along to the Alpine Stars Tech 7 Enduro boots. And I've had these for about a year now, and the reason that these became my go-to boot is that they just split the difference better between protection as well as comfort. Some of the boots that are more motocross focused give you that max amount of protection, but they don't allow you to move as easily when you're wearing the boots all day in an off-road situation. So what I like about this is you're getting the protection of the off-road boot. You have the massive Alpine Star shin protection, you get the hinge bracing on the ankle, you get the real rigid sole so you can stand up all day, but there is a bit more comfort baked into this little bit of flexibility that allows you to use them without growing just weary after a long day in the saddle. So for those of you out there that are looking at the Alpine Stars Tech 7, the ones that I would recommend considering are the ones with the Enduro sole. You get that really off-road style grip. There is the motocross sole as well, but I think for those of you out there in this dual sport world, this is the pick that you wanna be looking at for 2019. And with that, we have wrapped up our adventure and dual sport gear guide. Regardless of whether you are spending most of your time flying down the highway, but you're checking out that fire road out of the corner of your eye, or you're spending the majority majority of your time really tackling the gnarliest trail possible. Hopefully what you have found in this video are some pieces of gear to really get you thinking about what's right for you and your riding style in 2019. Now, if you want additional information on any of the gear that you're gonna see in any of our guide series, head over to revzilla.com for our videos, our articles, and our expert opinion on everything you'll need for the 2019 riding season. I wanna thank you for checking out the best gear for adventure and dual sport riding in the coming year. I'm Spurge, enjoy the ride.